So the simple wire antenna clipped to the top of it because otherwise it would just slide down and wouldn't work properly works perfectly with this I picked up a lot more than I've ever picked up with the built-in antenna the telescopic quite impressed as you can see in the video it's just strung up to the clothesline and then across to a fence like it's clipped to a overhanging plant and it works a lot better than before. And you can see now it's picking up stuff. It's picked up four just in the scan. Some of that will just be interference noises. One of them will definitely be 4KZ, which is our local, which broadcasts on FM, AM or MW, and shortwave, and on the internet. Yeah, 4KZ, Innisfail, Australia. It's 531 on AM. If you've ever picked up 4KZ anywhere in the world, please let me know in the comments below. It'd be quite interesting to know. Okay, so I picked up four. This takes forever to scan, so I'm going to pause it, and I'll be back when it shows how many, when it gets closer up to the end. Okay, so we've got five now, five stations. Not bad for this little radio, for the price. I paid 34 Australian dollars, including postage. That was bought within Australia, though, like the eBay seller was in Australia. It's not as good as this little radio, but I don't expect it to be. I paid about 60 Australian dollars for this. The PL310ET, the Texan. But it's still a very good radio, this one, for recording. As you can see in my latest video on YouTube, about the Reticus V115 or 115. Check it out, press subscribe, press like, the bell icon help help me out, help me grow my channel. So I will do future videos like that when I receive future radios when I purchase them. Or if you want to sponsor my channel, let me know. Well, we're up to seven now, or well, eight now. We're up to eight things picked up. Some of them will probably be interference noise, but still pretty cool being able to get stuff on a radio of this particular price range and this size. 
I did take this radio when I had to travel to Cairns for medical reasons about a month ago, or maybe a bit less than that, a few weeks ago. Um, you can have a look at that on the radio playlist. Look for Cairns, the Cairns radio stuff. That's recorded directly out of this. And then the micro SD card was put into the computer and then transferred to my phone and edited and put up. Sound quality wasn't altered in any way at all. It's just that I put the visual stuff on there for the video. So you get to hear the quality in 128 kilobytes per second. That's, um, yeah, recorded directly on this. Okay, so we've got eight. We'll pause the recording and get back and see what there is a bit later. Okay, so we've picked up 11, 12. Now, keep in mind this is 11.14 a.m. local time. It's a beautiful sunny day. A bit of clouds, but still quite clear. Quite blue compared to what we normally get lately. Okay, so we're up to 13. Now, the reason why I record out to this the Texan, what's the model number? The Texan IR100. ICR100, sorry. The reason why I do that is because for this type of video, so I can just press this and go through the stations. Whereas if I'm recording through the Redicus, I've got to stop each recording after it, before I change the station, go to the next one, press record, and do it like that. With this, I can just keep it recording and just press to change stations. So we've got 13 so far, 14. Let's see. Yes, there's a fair chance 99% will be noise, but it's still interesting to see. Earlier when I did it, just before, I picked up more in the later end of the the later end of the. Um, frequency spectrum but yeah so I think if you're going to record on the Redicus um, set it to 128 kilobytes per second which is the super in the settings and go into the menu you can see it on my, on my um, video about the Redicus it's definitely a lot more videos like that in the pipelines when things finally arrive Okay, a lot of wind. Oh, oh 16, you could you would have heard that just then come through. Another thing I found with this radio, if you if I plug in my Samsung fast charging power bank, it works good. But if I plug it directly into mains power through a USB hub or whatever, um, I get interference, I get it um, going all weird, the screen goes goes crazy. When you do it like this, it seems to be working quite fine. You can see that it's charging by the battery icon at the top, top right hand side. You can see there's 16 found. Okay, so this is going to be hard to record and do it at the same time, but we'll see. Right, it's a 4KZ. John, thank you for the call. Call again another day. Uh, John, did you get that, John? Bring up here, not very loud, but there. Nonetheless.
台解放后，连队随大部队进驻上海，改编为内卫一团二营八连，负责皖南军陆战巡逻执行。